Okay, so have you heard about this whole Martha Stewart documentary thing? Oh, yeah. What's going on with that? It's kind of wild, right? right? It's on Netflix, and Martha herself is not happy about it. Really? Yeah, we're diving into this New York Times article, and apparently there was some real tension behind the scenes. Huh, interesting. It makes you think about, like, who gets to control the story in a documentary, you know? Yeah, for sure. Especially with someone like Martha Stewart. You figure she would have had a lot to say. Well, that's just it. She did have opinions, but they weren't always taken on board. Oh, really? Oh. So what's she so upset about? Well, the documentary is called Martha. It's directed by R.J. Cutler. He's done some pretty big films. Oh, yeah. He's Oscar nominated, right? Exactly. So you'd think it'd be like a dream come true to have him direct a film about your life. Right. I mean, he'd have access to all sorts of stuff. Most people wouldn't. And he did. The film goes through like 83 years of Martha's life, uses her personal archives. Wow. So why is she unhappy then? Well, OK, so she felt like the documentary spent way too much time on her legal troubles back in 2004. Right, the whole insider trading thing. Yep. She actually said that time was like a vacation compared to the rest of her career. Oh, wow. That's pretty telling. And she really disliked the ending the film ends with scenes of her recovering after surgery. Oh, I see. So she's thinking it paints a negative picture. Exactly. And there's this quote in the article. It's like, I told him to cut that out, but he refused. I hate those last scenes. Hate them. Whoa, she's definitely not holding back. Nope, not at all. And get this, she wanted the film to have a rap soundtrack. Wait, a rap soundtrack for a Martha Stewart documentary? I know, right? But think about it, she's friends with Snoop Dogg. True, true. I guess it kind of fits with her unexpected side. Exactly. But the director went with a more classical score. He was going for a different vibe. So what did he say about all this? Well, he said that he sees the film as an artistic interpretation not just like a straight retelling of facts. Ah, so he's taking some creative liberties. Yeah, he even said something like, it's a movie, not a Wikipedia page. Hmm, that's an interesting point. Right, so it raises this question of who really owns the story in a documentary. Is it the subject or the filmmaker? It's got to be tricky, right? Like, on the one hand, it's Martha's life, but on the other hand, it's the director's film. Totally, and the director makes choices about what footage to use the music, the tone, all of that impacts how the story is told. Absolutely. And it's those little things that shape how we see a person. And it makes you wonder, if someone made a documentary about your life, yeah. what would you want them to focus on? Ooh, that's a good question. Right. Would you want the highlights or the low points or maybe a mix of both? I think a mix is probably the most honest, but then again, it depends how it's done. Yeah, no easy answers there, but it's definitely something to think about. For sure. And hey, if you're curious about how this all played out, you can always check out Martha. It's streaming on Netflix. Yeah, it might give you a new perspective on things. It might even inspire you to start making your own rap playlist. Now there's an idea. You never know what you'll learn on these deep dives. That's the truth.